let's try to create a python based azure function on visual studio code so i have opened my visual studio code uh, so i have to install some extensions to uh, enable the uh, cloud applications in visual studio code so i will uh, type like azure functions I want to install Azure Functions extension so let's install that okay then you can see the Azure blade is available in the left side menu so let's go to the Azure blade so you can see your subscriptions Azure subscriptions available if you have signed into your Azure account so uh, now we want to create a new function app so I will uh, click on create function so then it shows me you have to create a project to uh, create a function so I will create a new project so I will give a name like uh, like this so I will create a new folder and select that one ok then you are prompted to select a language to create Azure function so I will select Python and what is the uh, trigger type you want to select uh, so for this one I am going to create a simple HTTP trigger so I will select HTTP trigger so I have to give a name for the trigger so I will give a name like order trigger so your function name will be order trigger okay. then you have to select the authorization level so simply I will go with anonymous so anyone can hit on the anyone can call the HTTP trigger I am going to create so I will ask this to uh, open in the current window so it's creating the uh, function app okay the function app is created like this so you can see this uh, pop-up window available in the right side you have to install uh, pylint if it's not there so I will install that so you can identify some syntax errors in Python uh, easily if you have installed uh, lint packages so if you go to the extensions you can see what are the extensions available I have installed so I have to install Python and the, this uh, pip packages to install the uh, Python related packages to the project okay it's uh, the lint packages are still installing So you can see the uh, this uh, the default uh, the template that it has been created for a HTTP trigger. So if you go if we go to the file explorer, you can see uh, in this file uh, under the order trigger folder, you can see the uh, simple HTTP uh, trigger function is created so in the next video uh, let's try to uh, change this uh, function we have created and let's check what is the what is our requirement to process this uh, order trigger